I might lie, I've already opened this, of course I did. I have no self-control and I love makeup, so. Yeah. Hey beautifuls, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, hello, welcome, I'm Finn, and in today's video, I am so excited for today's video. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. So in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing and testing, or slash trying, whatever you want to call it really, the Morphe Eye Obsessed Eye Brushes. Yeah, that one. <laughs> um, so this is obviously from Morphe, it's an eye brush kit. So it comes with 12 brushes and obviously it comes with the faux leather bag with the really cute little Morphe logo here. I'm actually so excited because I got this for my birthday and I had no idea I'd be getting anything like this. So <laughs> thanks so much. In order to test this, I'm not just gonna be testing it with uh, air, am I? My eyeshadow look based upon oxygen. Um, I'm also going to be testing the Morphe 9T Neutrals palette, which is stunning. It's so pretty. And I'll be honest with you guys, I haven't worn neutral eyeshadow in a long time. If you check out my Instagram, the handles here, um, I actually wear a lot of brights, which is, yeah, I wear a lot of bright eyeshadow. I don't wear neutrals that much, so I'm quite excited really to sort of get into it and have a look. First things first, though. Let's open the bag. I won't lie, I've already opened this. Of course I did. I have no self-control and I love makeup, so. Here's the front, just Morphe Eye Obsessed. I really like this. I know it's minimal and neutral, but I love it. And then on the back, it shows you what brushes you're getting, um, what they actually are. Here is the faux leather kit that we're getting. Please excuse my nails, they need redoing. It's just a black faux leather, comes with a little zip at the top. Plain on this side, and then it comes with the little Morphe logo down here. Do you want me to peel it off? Ta -da. Then on the inside, we have, well actually no, technically we've got 11 brushes because I've already used one. Let me go get that. I won't lie to you guys, I've already used this one. I used the eyebrow one um, because it came with a spoolie as well. And I really, really like, like the long eyebrow brushes. My one's like this big. and it's just... We have got 11 makeup brushes here. Plus that one, which is 12. I'm not vegan, but I always look for products that are cruelty free and I always buy products that are cruelty free if I can find them. All of my makeup brushes up until now are fake, um, fake bristles. But from what I've heard and from what I've read, the white ones in the Morphe kits are real hair. If you don't like that, that's fine. Completely your decision. I just would strongly recommend not buying the kits with the white because they are real, apparently. So we've got three of these ones, these are just sort of blendy shady ones and on all of the handles it just says Morphe, I think that looks so professional, just the black, the white bristles and the Morphe logo, it looks so cute. So this is the large shadow fluff brush, we've got two flat brushes, another flat brush that's smaller, a little liner brush, we've got a flat liner brush and lastly we've got a crease brush and a detailed crease brush according to the packaging. Oh actually no and then you have got the eyebrow one which I've already used so it just comes with the angled at the top and then it comes with the spoolie at the bottom. I freaking love this brush. I know it's just an eyebrow brush but you can definitely tell like quality wise. The only thing at the moment I would complain about is come on Morphe. Is this actually necessary? But they, they already came in one bag together, let alone all individually wrapped. So in order to use those, we're going to be going in with the Morphe 9T Neutrals palette, which looks like this on the outside. I'm going to show you it on the inside. Again, really minimal, but I love it. The back just says blend the rules. And then that is the inside. So it is a very, very neutral palette, but I do freaking love it. I don't know what sort of look we're going to go for today. Obviously, it's going to be neutral. I'm just going to tie my hair back a little bit. So I think first up, I'm going to take one of these fluffy brushes and I'm going to go in with this shade here, which is actually cool. I'm going to go in with the shade Bare Play and pop that over so my eyeshadow's got something to stick to because at the moment, my face is bare. I've literally only got moisturiser on. I think I'm going to go from a light brown to a dark brown in my crease and then I'm going to do a gold lid. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's attempt that. And I'm going to take the colour midi and pop that on my inner corner. See, there is a little bit of kickback but it's nothing awful. Yay! 
I actually really like this brush. Like it's dense enough that it puts it where it wants it, but it's also going to blend it. What have I done to my eye? I'll just remind you guys, I'm going to disclaim this every half an hour or so. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm going to go in with the shade Packed, which is this brown one here, and then put that in my outer corner. I'm going to take this big brush and I'm just going to try and blend that out. Okay, I'm now going to be taking this flat brush and I really, really want to like, I don't know, jazz this up a little bit. So I'm going to go in with the shade Make A Deal, which is this really glitzy gold one here. And I'm going to pop that all over my lid. Hopefully it looks okay, but we will see. We will see what sort of mess I come up with. This might be one of those ones that is actually easier to use your finger. Yep. Yeah. I don't know why, glitters are always so much easier when you just use your finger, don't bother with a brush. I'm going to go in with the small detailer brush and then I'm going to pop some. I really like to like sort of ombre my under eyes so what I want to do is put some of the gold colour on the inside of my waterline and the br brown and the brown on the outer, so let's do that. Okay, I'm just going to go and put on some base. I'm going to do it all off camera because it takes too long to do it on camera. But I'll be right back in just one second. First thoughts though, that is really, really pigmented stuff. I'm not used to working with brown anymore. I'm just really... I don't know. But the glitters worked so well, hand on heart. But you do need to use your fingers. I think it works a lot better with your fingers. And the actual other colours, they sort of like they blend together really nicely. So that's what we're dealing with at the moment. Again, I'm not a makeup artist. I normally sort of um, throw it all on my face and I fix it with my base. So that's what I'm going to do. But that's what I'm looking like at the moment. Very natural, very like... I say natural. It's natural for me. Um very nude shades. I really like it actually. So be right back. Let me put on my base and I will show you the final look. So guys, I'm back. I've just done my base. I've literally put on some foundation, a tiny little bit of concealer, some blush and some highlight. Oh, and I did my eyebrows as well. Um, and my lips. I put on my whole face. Why have I just taken you through my whole routine? Last four is that I actually really, really like these natural, like nude colours. I know they're not nude because obviously you can see them, they're pigmented, but I really, really like it. It's really different. Like, I'm used to blues and pinks and purples at the moment, so I quite like this little, like, look. I quite like it. It's nice, it's nice. The quality of that palette is insane. There's a tiny bit of kickback, but you get that with most palettes anyway. But once it's on your face, you can, you can blend it into another shade that's also on your face, but you can't blend it off. So once it's there, it's kind of just there, it's stuck, glued. In respect of the brushes, they're gonna take some getting used to, won't lie, because I'm used to I'm used to my Real Techniques ones, and these are a lot bigger, so they're gonna take a lot to like sort of get used to. But I really, really like them. Like I love the way they feel, like they're the right weight, they're not really light, they're not really heavy, they're perfect for blending. They're perfect for just product placement, to be honest. I really like them, really, and they look gorgeous as well. Like we can't, we can't deny that they look really pretty with the little logo. So um, I just sort of wanted to try and have a look and see what was happening with it. Also, I'm really, really happy with this. I'm so, so happy, so happy with what it looks like, and yeah. So I would strongly recommend. I would definitely recommend this product. Definitely, I'd have a look on Morphe if I were you. Anyway, if you love makeup, this is the look. So I went for a. Uh, dark brown to light brown over my crease and then some gold on my lid and I've put no eyeliner on I've put a tiny, actually no that's a lie but a tiny bit of like brow liner on my waterline just to sort of make them pop a bit more so beautiful, that is the end of today's video I just kind of wanted to try it out with you guys I quite like doing things with you guys now 
I don't like being on my own. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to smash that like button. It really, really helps me out. And if you haven't yet done so, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It's completely free and I would love to have you here every single week. With that being said, I really, really hope you have a fantastic day, evening or weekend, wherever you are in the world. And I really, really hope that I'll get to see you again in the next one. Until then, love you, bye. Thank you.